Hello, welcome to notes on the uh, keyboard. Um, so today, as you can see, I've marked C and D already. But um, C. How do we know what C is? C we know is here. The reason that C has two of these notes, the sharp notes, on the right to it. Okay, that's how we work it out. So two on the right. Otherwise, you get confused. So C is here okay and then the D we know is like you could say trapped in the middle of these two in some way well how do we know it's trapped well it's not really trapped is it but um, we call it this I call it this because you've got these two but you don't have one to the side or you don't have one to that side as you can see okay so we know it's D and it's the same thing up here we know this is D okay I know I don't have the ones marked any further up, but we know it's D. We know this is C. Okay. The next thing we're gonna learn is E. E. See, you, you might think it's quite weird because it just goes up, up, and up. But we know where E is because E is here. It goes C, D, E, F, G, A. Why do you think that you might? I want to go. G H I J K L M M O P O Q R S T O V W X T Y Z. You might think that, but it doesn't because otherwise it just gets more complicated. And so we do it like this. And so if there's a C, you've got a really loud piano. We'll go like, oh, the first one's C one, the next one's C two. Like right, so we can call the name still. But the next note we're gonna learn is E. So E's here. E. We know it's E because it's got it's a semitone here. It's a semitone because it's got no uh, sharp or flat here, as you can see. And um, but you also might get confused with B, which is up here, because that's have it. But this only has two sharps or flats on the next to it. Okay. And then the next one up is F. Then it's G. And then A. Yeah. So then. Uh, we know it's F because it's got F sharp, G, G sharp. It's got you know the three next to them. G has got that one, that one, that one. So we know it's just like pattern that you remember. And then A, it's just a pattern that you remember. It's like it's just moved one instead of that one being there, it's there instead. If that makes sense. Then B, we know it's B because it's got three sharps and flats and slash flats next to it. And then back to C and upwards. Okay. Well now we're coming on to sharps and flats in the next video. So please watch the next video after this. Thank you.